Yo, what's up dudes and dudettes, it's Roll Easy here and I'm back with a dope money glitch video for you guys. The facility dupe glitch is back, it has been revived. The original founders are 115 Stig and 7 Dopper. The workaround founders are Hensky and Macclesfields UK. Links will be down in the description for all those dudes. So check it out. What you're going to need for this glitch, you still need one friend, but it's still pretty freaking easy. It's like, it's like the first two methods kind of combined. It's pretty crazy. So you need a, uh, the facility doesn't have to be full. It's totally up to you. But uh, I mean, if you want to make it pretty easy, I'd say throw a bunch of RH8s in there and then just have one retro or one Benny's vehicle that you want to dupe in the facility. So obviously you need a facility. Uh, you need a friend to just launch up a job for you. That's literally it. He's just got to launch a job. So I got an RH8 right there. And uh, you really don't need, you know, too many things for this glitch. You really don't. An MOC at the end to actually save the vehicle. But uh, the main thing is you need to throw yourself in an invite only session. All right. It must be an invite only session. And you have to do this a certain way for it to work on Xbox. Okay. On PlayStation, you guys have a little more leeway. But on Xbox, you have to do it this way. You got to join your friend in a certain way to really get it to work. All right. So real quick again, invite only session, one friend. You need a facility if you're going to be duping. Have a retro or any Benny's vehicle that you're trying to duplicate in your uh, facility. And you can have RH8s or Fagios from anywhere. All right. It could be in the facility too if you want. So I'm going to call up an RH8 from this garage right here. So check it out. I'm just calling up any RH8. I'm going to show you two ways that you can call up the RH8s. You can either call it from another garage or you can just pull out an RH8 from the inside of your facility. Now, the reason we're doing this is because you actually whatever last vehicle you had out so this is going to be my last vehicle outside the facility this is what's getting duped over and this is what's getting the plate oh and i forgot to mention no custom plates needed this is a merge glitch so you don't need custom plates so remember that plate 60 ipa 295 that's going to be the plate that's going to transfer over to our dupe this is the car that's going to be duped over all right so I'm going to go ahead and go to my motorcycle club menu and just return it to storage. Just like that. That's the main setup for the glitch right there. Okay, so once we've gotten to that point, that's the car you're going to be duping over. Just walk back into your facility. Real simple. And what you want to now do is go ahead and run over to the heist room. All right, this is the new workaround. This is how it works. Now, I recommend having a friend already in a job. All right, just waiting inside the session with you. You both got to be in the same session. Have him waiting in a job already. This is why. So you walk up to this part. You'll see that lo that screen load in just like that. Go ahead and go to play quick jobs. Go to your doomsday heist and just start one up. Now, it's going to start looking for a doomsday heist. All right. And I'm going to fast forward here because it does take a little bit. What you're looking for is you're looking for that crew emblem on the floor right there to actually disappear. Remember, that was one of the signs that the facility was glitched out last time. So that's what you're looking for. You're just waiting for that crew emblem to disappear. And check it out. It's about to happen now. So boom, it disappeared. Go ahead and open up your phone again. Go to play quick job. Just click on it once and that's it. It quits out. So the facility is glitched out. You can now drive cars in there. But if you don't join your friend quick enough, look what happens. There you go. The, the, uh, the facility is unglitched. The crew emblem is back and that's it. So this is what I actually recommend doing. So have your friend sitting in that job right now. Have them sitting in Titan of a job. You come back to this part right here and just go ahead and do the play quick job trick. All right. Just search for a doomsday heist. Now, I recommend if you want to get this quick, uh, set your matchmaking to closed. It does help. So check it out. I just lost it right there. I went ahead and hit play quick job again. I went to start online, go to players and go to your friend who's in the job and just hit join game. All right. And just accept the alert. You're going to get that private alert. That's what you want. You need that private alert so that you can get unglitched or so that the facility will stay glitched out. And check it out. Look at the emblem. The emblem does not leave it or it left. It does not come back, I should say. And the facility stays glitched out. Remember, the other way to check if you're fully glitched out is to open up your interaction menu and go to the style. You cannot access this menu while on a mission. That's how you know that you're fully glitched out. So there you go. Your facility is glitched out. You are now able to drive cars inside the facility. So run over to the vehicle that you want to dupe. In our case, it's this LG Retro Custom. Any, Benny, any Benny's vehicle will work, but I recommend the Retro Custom fully upgraded. It does sell for close to a million dollars. All right, so this is what you're going to want to do. Go ahead and just drive this bad boy down there over by the yellow circle. And I'm going to show you how to do this glitch without getting, you know, without having to get another car to actually wedge the passenger side door. So check it out. Just back up the car over to where those um, those kind of glass railings are to the steps. All right. So just back it up right about there till you're able to teleport. Just start spamming Y or triangle on PlayStation. You'll see you'll be able to teleport. 
So now just go over to the yellow circle and remember just like the last glitch, you wanna press A and Y at the same time or PlayStation, it's X and triangle at the same time. And if done correctly, you'll see yourself teleport into the car for a split second and then right after that, you're gonna start exiting, all right? If done correctly, you will spawn outside with the vehicle and check it out. Remember that plate I told you to remember? 60 IPA. That is the plate, it overwrote the entire car. That car is gone, 60 IPA 295. That is our brand new duplicate. The old car went right back to the facility. So now you're just gonna request your mobile operations center. And remember you want a personal vehicle storage in there so that you can actually be able to drive this in there. And we're just gonna simply save it. Now you can, you can do the CEO garage trick. Just remember you have to modify something on the vehicle and it has to be you know empty, but it takes really long to go to the, uh, the CEO garage. So I recommend just using an MOC. Doesn't matter what you have in there, it's all good. Vehicles will transfer. So, because remember, this is just, this basically turns into that RH8 that was in that garage. That's all it is. So now just go ahead and drive it in there and boom, it's saved. Just like that, you've made a dupe. Now, for all of you people that are gonna start saying it's patched because of this or because of that, I'm gonna show you some fails, okay? What's a good gl glitch video? Without a few fails, there are successes. You know, I do hit most glitches fairly quickly, but I do fail also, all right? So at this moment, you can either, you know, put a Fagio inside that MOC and then just go back. You know, that Fagio would be the last thing you drove out, or you can do what I'm doing right now. I wanted to show you guys what happens if you actually have your facility full of RH8s and you have a retro, you know, just one retro and full of RH8s. So imagine that my facility is just full of RH8s and only has one retro in it. I just wanted to show you right there to prove to you that the original is still there with the Rolizi plate. Now I'm gonna run over to an RH8. So just believe, make believe everything are RH8s. So just grab one of them and just drive it out. So you don't have to keep calling up your mechanic every single time. So I drove it out and this is basically the last car I had on, on the map. So this is gonna be the car that we're duping over, all right? So I'm just gonna drive it right back in. You don't have to return. You can just return to storage with the motorcycle club menu, but there's really no point. Just might as well drive it in. And like I said, I'm gonna show you some fails now on what can happen when you're doing the play quick job part. Okay, so we're just gonna be loading into our facility right here. And um, guys, trust me on this one okay a lot of people are gonna start saying it's patched because they get launched up into the heist or it's glitched out and they can't back out that is part of the glitch trust me okay that was happening on the original glitch that doesn't mean it's patched all right so remember that plate right there it was like zero seven I'm actually gonna show you right here so there we go zero seven Q W E six eight zero that's gonna be the plate that's gonna be on our brand new car and the retro is actually gonna spawn right there so we're gonna go back to this area. You see right there, the screen turned on. I'm just going to play quick jobs and I'm gonna to go to the Doomsday Heist and search for a quick job. Now the easiest thing to do if you wanna be quick is hover over play quick job, but check it out. Look, I got launched straight into the heist. That doesn't mean it's patched. Guys, this play quick jobs have been around since the game like first started. All right, it's a feature in the game. Sometimes you get launched in quick, sometimes you don't. Look what happens sometimes when you get stuck in here and then I do an unable to connect job. I ended up under the map. Look at this. So, guys, glitchy stuff will happen. It's a glitch. It's not 100%. It doesn't work perfectly. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I walked up to the heist room. I got the screen to open. I'm doing play quick job on my phone, doomsday heist. Make sure you launch it alone. You have your friend waiting in the job. You want your friend waiting in that job. And right now, I'm just simply... You know, I'm just simply hovering over the, you know, the play quick job and I'm waiting for that crew emblem to disappear. Just like it just did there. I hit play quick job to cancel the high search. I go to online, I go to players and I go ahead and I join my friend that's sitting in the job. Okay, he's just sitting in the lobby screen. I get the session is private. Xbox, remember we must join through that players tab. And there you go, your facility stays glitched out. PlayStation, I think you guys can join through the party if you guys want, you guys always get that session is private alert. The way to get that is you guys mo both must be in the same invite only session. That's why it must be an invite session. Okay. So now we're just going to do the same thing that we did before. I'm going to hop into this one retro that I have in here that I'm planning on duplicating. I'm just going to simply drive it over to that area. I'm going to wedge it into the, uh, you know, the glass railings, able to teleport into it, as you can see right there, and then just go over to the yellow circle and just do the thing. All right. Remember, Y and A at the same time on Xbox. PlayStation, you guys are hitting X and triangle. If done correctly, you will see this. Boom. You spawn in there for like a half a second and then you're heading up. All right, that is basically it. 
And like I said, if you did it right, you will spawn outside with your brand new duplicate. The original goes back to the facility where you just got it from, or it just stays there, I guess. And you spawn outside with the, you know, the dupe. Remember the plate I told you about? That's it right there. Okay, and guys, another thing, it's not patched if you can't request your MOC. Just get out of your car. Look, you see, I couldn't request it, it's grayed out. I got out of my car, I looked at it, boom, I can request my MOC. That's been around for a long time too, okay guys? So, I showed you a bunch of fails, I showed you, showed you two successes, how to get cars, pretty quick glitch, you know, pretty reliable. That quick job thing can be tricky, but it's all good. We got our, you know, pretty easy dupe glitch back, all right? That's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. Make sure to like the video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new and turn on post notifications for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We're on the road to 15,000 subscribers, getting closer and closer every day. Peace out, everybody.